Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss divisive analysis hierarchical clustering algorithm with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, five data points and the distance matrix is also given. Given this uh, data set, we need to apply the divisive analysis clustering algorithm to form the clusters here. So, as said earlier, there are uh, five data points are given to us A, B, C, D, E, and the distance between each of those data points is given in this case. That is, the distance from A to A is 0, distance from A to B is 9, and so on. In the previous videos, I have discussed the remaining clustering algorithms like uh, K means, K means plus plus, fuzzy C means, hierarchical clustering, and so on. The link for those videos is given in the description below. The first step of uh, divisive analysis clustering algorithm, uh, we will initialize CL to all the data points given to us. That is, CL is the initial uh, cluster here with all the data points. In this case, five data points are there. All are initialized to CL in this case. Now, we want to divide this uh, data set into different clusters. Uh, let us say that uh, two clusters. The first cluster we will name it as CI, and second cluster will be named as CJ in this case. All the data points present in CL, that is the initial cluster, will be assigned to CI here. So, all are present in CI and nothing is present in CJ. Now, what we need to do here is uh, we need to uh, select one data point from this particular CI and put it into CJ. The same thing will be repeated unless and until we will get the final clusters here. Now, how can we do that thing is uh, in the third step, so we will divide it into two parts that is the initial iteration when we don't have any data points in cj once we get some data points in cj we will go to the second part over here so in the initial iteration what we do is uh, we will calculate average dissimilarity of an object in ci with all other objects in ci here for example in this case we have uh, an object a here so what we need to do we need to calculate uh, c uh, that is a uh, the average dissimilarity of this particular A by calculating the distance from A to B, A to C, A to D and then A to E. That is the average distance. Similarly, uh, the second one that is B. Uh, while calculating B, we need to consider B to A, B to C, B to D, B to E and so on. So, first we will see how can we calculate the average dissimilarity for A. That is nothing but uh, uh, A is equivalent to 1 divided by 4 because we will get 4 different uh, distances here. That's the reason I uh, will write uh, 1 by 4 here. Multiplied by the distances. As said earlier, the distance from A to B, distance from A to C, distance from A to D and distance from A to E. All those things I have written here. And all these distances are present in this table. You can see here, uh, A to B is equal to 9. That is what is present here. A to C is equal to 3, A to D is equal to 6, A to E is equal to 11 here. And once I put all the values, I will get the average dissimilarity of a data point A is equal to 7.25 in this case. Similarly, uh, we will calculate the average dissimilarity for B, average dissimilarity for C, D and E here. Now we need to compare all these average dissimilarity values. For A, I think we got uh, 7.25 and once you compare all these uh, average dissimilarities the average dissimilarity of b and e are uh, maximum in this case in this case uh, we need to select uh, one of these uh, data points randomly because there are two data points with the same value so between these that is uh, b and e i will select b randomly and then i will remove this uh, b from ci and then i will put it into cj here so once it is done we will get two clusters. In CI, we have A, C, D, E because B is removed here. And CJ, previously it was uh, nothing was present in this uh, cluster. We have added B to this one. We got B as the data point in CJ here. So, this is the initial iteration. So, once we get some data point in the second one, that is CJ, we need to apply the second possibility here, that is remaining iterations, you can say. So, in the remaining iteration, we may get multiple number of iterations. So, we will say that the second iteration in this case. So, what we do here is uh, uh, because we have some data points in CI and some data points in uh, uh, CJ, what we do here is we will calculate the average dissimilarity again of A, B, uh, A, C, D, E here. Now, the question is how to calculate this average dissimilarity of A. So, what we do here is uh, uh, we will calculate the distance of this A to all other data points in this CI. What are the possibilities? A to C, A to D and A to E. So, that is what I have written here. 
and how many possibilities are there? Three. So that's the reason one by three in this case. And then minus, we need to calculate the distance of this A to all other data points in CJ here. So how many are there? A to B is the only possibility. So one by one distance from A to B here. Again, all these distances are present in this table. We need to put it and once you solve it, you will get minus 2.33 here. Similarly, we will do it for uh, C. So once I consider C, we need to calculate the distance from C to A, C to D and C to E. So that is what I have written here. And how many distances are there? Three. That's the reason one by three. Minus one by one. And the distance from C to B here. There is only one. That's the reason it is one divided by one in this case. Again, once you solve it, you will get minus uh, 2.33. Similarly, we have to do it for uh, uh, the D and, and E here. We got all four uh, uh, average uh, dissimilarities in this case. Now, once you get the average dissimilarities, we need to compare them. In this case, uh, the average dissimilarity of a data point D is uh, positive or you can say it is greater than zero. Uh, because uh, it is greater than zero and it is greater than all other dissimilarities values. We will select a D data point. We will remove it from I and we will put it to here into uh, CJ here. So after doing that thing, uh, we will be getting two clusters again. CI is equal to ACE because we have removed a D and we have added D to this uh, CJ. That's the reason we got a B comma D in this case. So after the second iteration, we will get uh, these two clusters here. Again, we have to repeat the same thing in the third iteration. We have to calculate the average dissimilarity of A, C and E here. That is, uh, first we need to calculate the distance from A to C, A to E. That is what I have written here. Two possibilities because of that average means 1 divided by 2. Minus from A, from A we will get two possibilities. A to B, A to B and one more is A to D in this case. So these are the two possibilities. Uh, because there are two possibilities are there, 1 divided by 2 here. So once you solve it, you will get minus 0.5. Similarly, we have to do it for the next data point that is C. We will get uh, minus 13.5. Uh, the same thing has to be repeated for the next one that is E here. We will get minus uh, 2.5 in this case. Now, once you compare all these values, none of them are positive values here. If they are positive, then only we will consider. Otherwise, we will discard it. Because none of them are positive or all of them are negative values, we will stop uh, dividing these uh, clusters here. So, after third iteration, we got... Uh, uh, CI is equal to ACE and CJ is equal to B, D in this case. So we have started with a cluster with five data points. Now we got two clusters uh, with three data points in one, two data points in another. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to decide whether we need to divide this uh, CI or CJ into another set of uh, clusters here. For that reason, what we do is in step number four, we calculate uh, something known as uh, the diameters here, the diameter of CI and diameter of CJ. Based on that, we will decide, uh, should I consider uh, CI as the uh, cluster from here to divide or CJ as the cluster uh, to divide from here onwards. So now the question is how to calculate the diameter. The diameter of CI is equal to maximum of all possible uh, distances. What are the possibilities? A to C, A to E. And one more is C to E here. These are the three combinations we will get. So that is what I have written here. Once I put all the distances, the maximum value is equal to 11 in this case. Similarly, diameter of CJ is equal to, there is only one possible distance. That is a maximum of uh, D of uh, B comma D, which is equal to 5 over here. Now, once you calculate the diameter, we need to compare these two diameters. Which one is the maximum in this case? 11 is maximum here. The meaning of this one is uh, we need to consider CI cluster as the initial cluster and then we need to start dividing this CI into multiple number of clusters here. Uh, we may get A into one, CE into another and uh, whatever it may be the case but we need to consider CI uh, as a split point here. Uh, CI will become what here? Now the initial cluster that is uh, uh, CL and then the same step, uh, step number two, three we need to uh, apply and then we need to see uh, whether there is a need of uh, uh, dividing the new clusters into another set of clusters and so on. The same thing will be repeated again and again over here. So at this point of time, I have shown only uh, one iteration here. That is, uh, we have divided uh, the initial clusters into two clusters, that is CI and CJ. Once you get CI and CJ, we need to decide which one to consider from here onwards by calculating the diameters. And then uh, based on the diameter, uh, we need to start uh, uh, dividing that cluster into again here, 
uh, until uh, we will get to the final clusters over here. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, uh, how can we apply divisive analysis uh, hierarchical clustering algorithm on the given data set and uh, uh, construct the different clusters. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.